subtraction of three digit numbers. Students, now let's solve these examples. 479 minus 358. 479 means 9 ones, 7 tenths and 4 hundredths. 358 means 8 ones, 5 tenths and 3 hundredths. Now let's find out. Let's subtract ones first. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So now we have 1 hundreds, 2 tens, 1 ones. So the number is 121. So 479 minus 358 is equal to 121. Let's solve this example. 835 minus 621 is equal to how much? Let's find out. Let's subtract ones first. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. So now we have 2 hundreds, 1 tens and 4 ones. So the number is 214. So 835 minus 621 is equal to 214. Let's solve this example. 256 minus 139 is equal to how much? Let's find out. Let's subtract ones first. 6 minus 9. Students, we cannot subtract 9 ones from 6 ones. So, we will borrow 1 tenths from tenths column. 5 tenths minus 1 tenths is equal to 4 tenths. 6 plus 10 is equal to 16. So this 6 becomes 16. Now we can subtract 9 from 16. 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So now we have 1 hundreds, 1 tens and 7 ones. So the number is 117. So, 256 minus 139 is equal to 117. 
Let's solve this example. 623 minus 457. Let's subtract once first. 3 minus 7. 3 minus 7 is not possible. We cannot subtract 7 ones from 3 ones. So, we will borrow 1 tens. 2 tens becomes 1 tens. 3 plus 10 is equal to 13. So, 3 becomes 13. Now, 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. Let's subtract tens. 1 minus 5. Not possible. Students, we cannot subtract 5 tens from 1 tens. So, we will borrow 1 hundreds from hundreds column. 6 hundreds minus 1 hundreds is equal to 5 hundreds. So, let's write 5 hundreds. Now, 1 becomes 11 tens. Now, 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. Let's subtract hundreds. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So, we have 1 hundreds, 6 tens, 6 ones. So, the number is 166. So, 623 minus 457 is equal to 166.